War leaves wounds that are, at times, obvious. Psychic trauma is not as easily seen, but can be equally devastating. The Veterans Administration says 22 veterans commit suicide each day. Chicago neuroscientist Dr. Lucas Konopka looks for clues in brain scans. The images can detect areas that have been impacted by emotional trauma and give guidance to possible therapies. By doing very simple imaging studies with quantitative EEG, for example, we can begin to define whether or not there are functional difficulties in communication between the, the two hemispheres, right and left. Uh, right hemisphere being involved in processing of emotional content. And if that information is somehow not transmitted into the left hemisphere, which is able to express itself verbally, that person will have difficulties uh, ex talking about their experience. Now, there may be other ways to get that experience out, and that way would be through art therapy. Dr. Kanoka believes art can unlock those hidden traumas. Specially trained art therapists using art materials can help individuals delve into these dark memories that are sometimes beyond words. Often, art allows very angry, uncontrollable emotions to be expressed. And so as a consequence, at the end of a given session, uh, the patient may be in, in greater distress than before that session began. Dusty, a retired Indiana Army National Guard Chief Warrant Officer 4, participated in a pilot art therapy program at the Indianapolis VA Hospital. I had some issues that were welling up deep down that I wasn't dealing with. And um, it came out in the art. We, as adults, learn how to incorporate this, these traumatic experiences and allow them to be unprocessed, but they are retained. There's no trauma that, that becomes eliminated from one's brain. Back home after 13 months in Iraq, Indiana Army National Guard Staff Sergeant Andrew Schneiders realized PTSD was controlling his life. I didn't think I would latch on to group therapy as, as well as I did. And, and I did it through, you know, I did it through the VA uh, initially, and. And, and found a good group of guys and girls that I was surprised at how much I opened up, but then watched other people do the same. How simple it sounds just to talk about it, but to really get in there and drive forward and, and make those changes when, when you don't believe in yourself anymore, that, it's tough for people. So art therapy is primarily involved in that process where individuals express themselves by painting, drawing. There, there's also other form uh, of, for example, clay uh, that provides a very different experience to the patient because uh, they actually manipulate something in a three-dimensional space. An Iraq War Army veteran, Grombi, also participated in the Indianapolis VA Hospital's art therapy to deal with PTSD. I really like using the clay. I like to do stuff with my hands um, and I can just, you know, kind of feel the texture in it. So that was pretty cool. Grumby says the act of creating a piece of art during therapy and then being able to put words to it is meaningful. Sometimes I can share it with the group or sometimes I can share it even outside of the art therapy. Sometimes I might share it with a friend or a family member or someone else. And then there's some other things that I just keep private, you know, that I just kind of do for myself. Um, but it's, it's, it is cathartic, it is, it's, it's a release. And what is it about sharing with other veterans? It's vital. because we're a unique breed. Shared experience is something that we all seek. So when, when someone um, finds themselves uh, in trouble, in distress, uh, the, the sense of loneliness and being alone is always so very prominent. And being able to normalize that experience by having a conversation with others who have similar experiences allow us to feel that we're not unique or crazy or abnormal. It's not only the fine arts that help veterans heal, the expressive arts, music and theater can allow feelings to be communicated. Uh, patients participating in theater where they can take on someone else's identity and express their emotions may be very therapeutic because it's not about them and yet it is about them. The acting was good. 
but it goes deeper than the acting. It's a, it's a process of healing. Since his introduction to art therapy while working at the VA in Chicago many years ago, Dr. Konopka has found art can be a key, unlocking traumatic memories and helping clients heal. I am absolutely convinced that art should be part of any uh, intervention process. Not for everyone, but for those individuals who actually would benefit from that experience. For other profiles and resources for veterans, visit wfyi.veteranscominghome.org.